Hi again everybody, it's Scott with Easy Travel Pad and today I'm coming to you from Sandals South Coast. It's in White House, Jamaica. It's on, as the name would imply, the south coast of Jamaica. It's out sort of by itself. There's not other resorts around. It's been here for several years and, um, you know, I've been here, I've been coming here for 10 years and I'd say, you know, having been to all of the Sandals resorts, this is the one that just keeps improving the most. It was nice to start with but they just keep improving, uh, adding, uh, modifying, little things here and there all the time. And uh, it's, it's better now than it was when I was here last year. So let's have a look around, see if this may be a resort for you. You know, one spot that a lot of people are gonna overlook arriving at Sandal South Coast, there's a, just a gorgeous little garden right here. Oh, you're fine. Good morning. <laughs> Gorgeous garden with fountains. We're going to go head toward the lobby right now. Of course, when you arrive, you're going to be arriving, not walking through the gardens, but you're going to arrive in a provided transfer coming from the airport, arriving here at the Port of Cachere. We're going to have a welcome drink for you, a happy smile, and a welcome home. You're home for the next several days. Upon arrival, you're going to step into the comfortable lobby, and depending on your level of service, whether it's luxury or club level or butler, your check-in will begin either here at the front desk or over at Club Sandals, or you'll be greeted immediately by your butler and whisked straight off to your room. Let's go have a look at the resort. Stepping out, we're pretty early in the morning right now. It's, eh, it's about eight o'clock, so not very many people are stirring at the moment. Sun's a little bit low on the horizon, so I've got a little bit of a glare. Fountain's not turned on yet. Save a little bit of water until later. But very shortly, we arrive at the main pool. This is gonna be the hub of entertainment. It's gonna be a DJ here. Gonna be some soft music early, some fun music later. Could be a game of pool volleyball, might happen. It's basketball, nice view of the ocean. And then just taking a quick look at the main courtyard here. We're looking now at the lobby that we just walked through. We're gonna pan left past some buildings where there are shops, resort shop, jewelry shop, photo shop main pool, ocean beyond, and then on the other side of the courtyard, most of the restaurants, some bars, plenty of comfortable places to hang out. One thing for sure, if you haven't already, pre-range some adventures off the resort. There's some really cool things to do in the area. You're going to want to stop by the Island Roots desk, uh, but I would strongly suggest pre-booking some things before you come and uh, your travel advisor, hopefully us, is going to be happy to help with that. Cafe de Paris, that's going to be your spot for some espressos, some cappuccinos, some gelatos, Going, Some pastries. The desserts, are awesome. the desserts are awesome. Jasmine's is going to be your spot for Asian cuisine, and it's also going to be your spot for a la carte dining for breakfast out here on the patio. Gorgeous little place to stay. Enjoy the beautiful morning. Have some coffee. For Italian cuisine, it's going to be Giuseppe's. Dine inside in the AC or out here on the patio. Enjoy the fine Caribbean weather and a beautiful evening. 
So the main restaurant for breakfast, it's a bu breakfast buffet is Bayside at lunch. It is a theme lunch buffet that changes daily and then at night it's French. I think I'm going to be trying that this evening. Inside Bayside at breakfast you're going to find a buffet with plenty of pastries and oh, we got here this morning. Oh my. One banana cobbler. <laughs> I'm going to check that out. A station for pancakes and waffles and French toast, of course. And, of course, you know there's going to be a couple of omelet stations. The egg magician starts her work. And, of course, there's going to be lots of breads and toasts and bagels and cream cheese and lox and cereals. And fruits and cheeses and vegetables and lots of good things. I think today I'm going to concentrate on some fruit. For Mediterranean cuisine, Neptune's is a fantastic option. Very close to the beach, close enough that you can hear the waves in the evening. Sets a such a relaxing mood. If it's been a minute since you've been to Sandal South Coast, there's a new addition and it is a food truck right next to the jerk shack. Looking forward to this. For sure one of the best lunchtime eateries here is going to be the jerk shack where you're going to get some jerk chicken, jerk pork, fish in a foil right by the beach. It's terrific. All right, we're here with Kevin, one of the masters of the Jerk Shack. You want to tell us about what's happening at the Jerk Shack, Kevin? What you got, man? All right, today, I just said today. Every day we have jerk pork, jerk chicken, fish, tornadoes, festival, and bread. What's festival? Festival is just a uh, just a dough that we made every day. Kind of like a sweet bread, just a little bit. Yeah, right? it's a sweet bread. Yeah, man. What's your favorite? Jerk chicken in Jamaica, man. There ain't much like that. Yeah. Some good stuff. Everybody love the spice, love the pork, jerk chicken, everything, man. Right. And, uh, we love the company as well. And the view. The view's not too bad, too, huh? Ah, very nice. All right. We got to have the waiter. That's Roseanne. Roseanne. Oh my God, Roseanne. Is the Ro best. I Roseanne. Is the best. You work every day. Okay, well, don't come here on Sunday or Friday because you won't have Roseanne beer. That's right. Yeah. Hey, thank you guys. Appreciate it. The beach here at South Coast is uh, its really long. its I've walked it. I'm going to say it's about a mile and a half from end to end. No other resort around. So it's great. This is probably one of the more active parts of the, of the beach. Now, not right now. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Everybody's kind of... Uh, starting to head in for the day. It's uh, also a little bit breezy, so not the best. Not the best for, oh, let's say, beach volleyball. Probably happened a little bit earlier this morning, but uh, you get a little bit of a sense of what's going on. A couple of the permanent residents here at South Coast are the Peacocks. There's, I don't know, half a dozen of them. And uh, every once in a while, they strut their stuff. They're beautiful, whether they've got their feathers out or not. But uh, just a just a unique feature, and puts a smile on everybody's face. It's just a little breezy today. It's been beautiful weather for a couple of days, but a front came through. Had a little squall a little while ago, and this afternoon it's breezy, which is tamping down the activity in the pool just a tad. But here at the Swim Up Bar. Get a drink. That's cool. It's easy to get a chair. It's about four o'clock. Still a gorgeous afternoon. Even though there's just a bit of a breeze. If you've been to South Coast before, you probably are familiar with the Italian village. This historically has been some of the nicer rooms on property. 
It is not the Italian village anymore though. The name has changed. Now it is called the Silver Sun Building. But nothing really else has changed about it. It's still just steps from the beach. A terrific place, great views, and again, all of the rooms facing the beach and the ocean. Now, if it's been a couple, three years since you've been to Sandal South Coast, you're probably not going to recognize what used to be the Dutch Village. And, well, a couple years ago, it was just totally redone with soaking tubs put on the balconies, swim-up rooms all around. It is totally gorgeous now. And, just recently, having nothing to do with the earlier changes, it has been renamed and is now Silver Sun Whenever Building. You make another round, yeah. And then these are some of the swim up rooms of what is now the Starlight Building, which used to be Dutch. And still right at the ocean. And what an amazing view of the sunset is going to be tonight. With the bar right here, beautiful pool, pool chairs, swim ups, and the beach just behind me. This is just a beautiful little resort all to itself, even if you never left Silver Sun buildings. Well, you're going to have to go for dinner. For sure, one of my favorite places here at San Jose Coast is the Rondeval Village. These rooms are outstanding. Swim up, private plunge, outdoor shower, very nice. Plus a meandering pool throughout the entire village. So quiet, so relaxing, so tranquil. This round bungalow rondeval has everything that you can imagine. Terrific outdoor seating. Your own chairs and floaties at the lagoon pool. Your own private plunge pool. And so much more. Last night, would have been a terrific night for an outdoor shower with about a million stars. And then spending some time in your private plunge pool. So nice. It looks like the butler has created something special for such a special event. So I don't generally talk too much about construction, uh, reconstruction at resorts, but in this case it really warrants some uh, attention. This is what used to be the French Village. The building's the same, but they've expanded. They're adding some space to the rooms, they're adding the balconies and the patios, they're putting in some swim-ups, they're adding tranquility soaking tubs to the balconies, and just like all of the other rooms here, they are right at the beach. So what used to be the French Village, is going to be the Long Beach building, and uh, you're gonna to wanna to come see it. It's all club and butler, and in a prime location. It just keeps getting better. For sure, one of just about everybody's highlights is Latitudes Over Water Bar. This is a perfect place to catch the sunset here at South Coast. It's a good place to just hang out in the afternoon anytime. But uh, particularly when the sun goes down, very popular place. So we've got not only a couple of awesome bartenders here, excellent bar and excellent location with an excellent view as the sun goes down. But we've also got some sort of hammock type things that go all around. We can see the overwater bungalows in the background. 
Nothing but blue water and relaxation. This is where your cares all melt away. Nothing to think about but bliss. It's just gorgeous. Okay, so I'm here with O'Brien. He is the manager here at Sandy South Coast. He's a terrific guy. I'm gonna let him tell you a little bit more about what makes this resort so special, but I'm gonna get off the camera, so I'm gonna flip around and let him have it. Okay. So there are so many things that make this resort super, super, super special. The first thing for me is location. We're located off the beaten path. We are actually in White House, Jamaica, one of the most magical places on the island. And in this area, from my perspective, time stands still. So if you're looking for that total relaxation spot where you have to focus on absolutely nothing except relaxation, then this is the best location for you. Second reason, the people. I have one of the most amazing bunch of team members on the planet and I am absolutely honored every single day to serve with them. And I'm standing on the beach with a, a long stretch of private, private beach location that really gives you serenity at its absolute best. I look forward to seeing you at the Sexy Salmon South Coast. We're looking at the sunset right now. You could be in an overwater bungalow facing that sunset if you play your cards right. I would imagine that O'Brien can't make any promises, but I'll send him an email and say, hey, they want the bungalow that faces the sun, right? And oh, he'll absolutely. maybe make yeah. that happen, yeah, right? No, we'll make it happen. Okay. No, maybe about <laughs> yeah. All right. See you soon. Thanks, O'Brien. <laughs> okay, so that's going to do it for our tour today of Sandals South Coast. This resort, it just keeps getting better. If you've been here before, you've got to come again. It, you know what, it's going to be better in April when that Long Beach building is done than it is today. And it's better today than it was a couple of years ago. So come on back if, you, if you've been here before. If you haven't, reach out to your friends in the travel business at Easy Travel Pad. We're here to help you make the most of your very valuable time and make your vacation as special as it possibly can be. Whether it's a honeymoon, a destination wedding, a romantic getaway, or just some time away with two or three couples of friends. We're here to help and uh, look forward to seeing you again.